N7 Day, also known as the International Mass Effect Day, just arrived, and with it came some pretty crazy stuff. Stuff that I'll be breaking down in today's video. Now before you ask, yes, theory videos are coming, but for now, let's just go over what we got yesterday, okay? And for any of you who might just be here for the really exciting stuff, I've put some timestamps down below for your convenience. So N7 Day started off in pretty regular fashion with none other than Michael Gamble himself giving us a personal letter on the official Bioware blog, saying, Every November 7th we've all come together, developers, superfans, regular fans, kinda fans, to celebrate and speculate about the games, stories, and community that makes Mass Effect so special. It's a testament to the long-lasting appeal of this universe and the characters who call it home. 11 years of N7 days and 16 years of Mass Effect later, the franchise continues to inspire our development team and with each day, gives us the opportunity to create more adventures for you to have. Whether it's one of the many who have been here since the original game's launch, or those recently joining us at Bioware, we are all incredibly lucky to be envisioning this future. That process is equal parts rewarding and challenging. We've asked ourselves many of the same questions you've asked us over the years. What happened to everyone you know and love in the games? Who really died? Who had kids with whom? What does the baby Volus sound like? What about all the galaxies, the endings? What the heck is going on with our Asari scientist turned shadow broker? What about sh- never mind, you get the idea. And of course, to those questions there are answers, but you'll have to wait to hear them. And anything we do say won't be easy to find, just like you've come to expect from our N7 day thesis. But for real, thank you, thank you for everything and allowing us to do what we do. We approach the future of this universe with gratitude and deep respect. Respect for you, the community. Respect for the love and dedication you've given to us. Respect for the history and the stories you've created and the characters you've fallen in love with. And respect for the future and the opportunity to do something big, something amazing for you. Until next time and happy N7 day. Mike Gamble, Mass Effect franchise director and executive producer. Now, as a content creator and as someone sitting on the sidelines, I'm very happy to see that Michael and the Mass Effect team has their finger on the pulse, so to speak. And it's cool to see him confirming some of the biggest questions that the fan base has for, you know, the future of Mass Effect. Like, what does Baby Volus sound like? Rudimentary creatures of blood and flesh. You touch my mind. Fumbling in ignorance. Now as the blog post goes on, we of course get a copious amount of merchandising to scroll through, and hey, I guess that's a tradition at this point, and to me that's, you know, fine. Especially knowing that the proceeds from sales for Bioware's partnership with Humble Bundle and Dark Horse Comics goes to Child's Play, which is a charity for kids in hospitals. So that's just wonderful to see, I just gotta say. But now, if you were reading this blog post for yourself and you were thinking, hey, did somebody just fall asleep on the keyboard and just roll their face all over it? Because ah, yes, the blog post starts getting filled with a bunch of nonsensical zeros and ones spliced in between words. Ah, but you see, this is an intentional little magic trick by the one and only Michael Gamble, a common magic trick that he has become famous for by now. Because if we take all the zeros and ones from the blog post and we put them together, we can use a binary decoder to decode what it's saying. And yes, as you may already know, it spells epsilon, which is the Greek word for five, among other things. <laughs> and now this is really where we get into the real meaty stuff. Because you see, sometime after the blog post was uploaded, Michael Gamble proceeded to post a link to the official Mass Effect webpage, where we can see the big bold letters at the top spelling out Axis Code, Epsilon. Below that, it says Secondary Encryption Detected, Andromeda Distress Signal Detected, a Redacted Year, and the audio transcript from the last N7 Day teaser, where we hear Liara saying this. I can see something. How did we miss this? Exactly. The council will be furious. Although they should know by now not to underestimate human defiance. And just soon after that, another teaser gets posted, this time codenamed Defiance, 
which of course is the redacted word from the sound file where we hear Liara speaking. But here it also says Oculon 2819. And now this is where stuff gets really interesting because you see 2819 is the year that the Andromeda storyline takes place. Now whether that means that this is the year that the game is going to take place remains to be seen, of course. And we'll get into that in another video. But then we got the final update, Post Nebula. And here it also reads, Warning, security breach detected. Contact Systems Alliance. And now yes, these three updates had three spliced parts of a video. And when you put them together, you of course get the new teaser trailer that has now been officially released on YouTube. Now I know what a lot of you guys may be thinking, that has to be Shepard, right? And well, it could be, but I have a feeling that it isn't. And of course I will be delving into the why of that in, again, another video. But some really cool things here that are easy to miss is what looks like a Krogan looking out of a window to the left between 4 and 6 seconds. Is that Rex? Or maybe Grunt? Who knows? But you can also see sky cars or taxis flying past on the outside as we see the mysterious N7 operative walking through the corridor. Meaning that we're most likely getting our first glimpse of an actual city that we'll be visiting. I also want to point out the suspiciously colored canisters in the background here and the colors we see are of course white, orange and black. Which we again see being displayed on the big relay construction footage from last N7 day. Is Cerberus back in action again? Well, I personally think so, but hey, let me know in the comments. Now, as this is a teaser trailer, I wouldn't fault you for thinking that this is just a pre-rendered cutscene that they've made just as a special location for in seven day, and that this isn't actually what the game will look like. But nay, because you see the big man himself, Michael Gamble, graced us with the information that what we're seeing is indeed in engine. Yes, you heard that right. This is a glimpse of actual in-game footage. Now to remind you, it's not final, but this is a glimpse and this is what they've worked with so far. Now, of course, Michael didn't want to divulge exactly what engine this is, but I think we can just assume that this is Unreal Engine 5 because of all the teasing and job posts we've seen throughout the years. And it does look a gorgeous. Can you guys imagine that this is what the next generation of Mass Effect games will look like? By the goddess! <laughs> Another really interesting detail here is that the character is quite clearly an N7 operative of some kind. And if we go back to last N7 day, the official Mass Effect Twitter account specifically calls us agents. So are we playing as actual N7 agents this time around? With a bunch of undercover missions? Investigations? Hmm. Anyway, just to top it off, Michael and the team, of course, went ahead and posted the new official poster for the game, where we see what looks like the protagonist, who may or may not be Shepard, with her cape flapping <laughs> in some very pretty neon coloration. However, as you can see here inside of our protagonist, boy, that sounds wrong. <laughs> we see a futuristic club with a whole assortment of people from all corners of the Milky Way galaxy. By checking out the high definition version, we can spot everything ranging from regular humans to Hanar to Salarians, Turians, wait a moment, is that Garrus? Asari and even Geth. And yes, that does look like an Angara. Now this has some massive implications, because if we see an Angara, and a Geth that's looking pretty fly in that getup, goddamn. Then we can just put all the speculation aside for a moment and just say it for what it is. The Geth are alive and well, and seemingly citizens. The Angara are also alive and well, at the same time and place as the Geth. I'm just gonna say it right here, folks. The Mass Effect team are officially bridging the Milky Way galaxy with the Andromeda galaxy. And I'm pretty sure this 
big relay construction has something to do with it. I also want to point out that I'm getting huge Blade Runner vibes from this. And as we know that Mass Effect as a franchise is very much inspired by the Blade Runner franchise, I think we can safely say that the next game is gonna go even harder on that vibe than we've seen previously. Let's also not forget that writing heavy hitter Mary DeMarle is the <laughs> senior narrative director on this game. So if I was a betting man, which I'm not, I'd say that the next Mass Effect game is probably going to be more similar to the Deus Ex franchise than anything else. Well, except for the original trilogy, of course. And as you may know by now, Mary DeMarl was responsible for a lot of the writing in Deus Ex Human Revolution and Mankind Divided, which I've oft repeated on this channel. Now, according to Michael the Lord Gamble himself, there are some things that we haven't found yet. And if you find anything cool from the official M7 material, then remember to tell me about it over on Twitter. By the way, I just want to give a huge thank you to everybody who joined me in yesterday's live stream. I was surprised to say the least to see so many of you jump in on the stream. It was an amazing time of excitement and I think I'll remember this for a long time. I definitely will. And just a heads up, if you do want to support the channel in the best way possible, you can always become a member or you can always support me over on Patreon and I think the link is over here somewhere on the banner. <laughs> In any case, do let me know of all your thoughts regarding N7 Day. Are you excited? Were you disappointed that there weren't a bigger trailer? Are you hoping that we might get a bigger trailer for maybe the Game Awards? Because it does look like this is a smaller piece of a larger thing. I gotta admit. Anyway, leave those thoughts down below. And as always, have a great day. Mr. Olten, signing out.